This is a $59 pocket video light, and this is a $19 pocket video light. And if used properly, you cannot tell the difference between this light and this light. And I do use pocket lights every day. I use them in the production of these YouTube videos. I use them in product video production. I actually, if I'm going out and doing photography or video, I will carry one in my pocket just to sort of brighten up those scenes when I've got too much backlight. And I just want to sort of illuminate a product or someone's face or something in the foreground. And recently I did a family trip and I had one with me the whole time. And the kids were constantly complaining that I was the only one there walking around with a bloody light in their hand, but I do find them extremely useful. And I think the challenge is not everyone can afford anywhere between 60 or $100 for a high-end pocket light, but I think everyone can have the benefit or can see the benefit from using a small light in the production of their photos or videos. And that's why I was pretty excited when this company sent me out this little light. Now, this is a $19 light, it's a fair bit thicker, and I don't know if they're actually calling it a pocket light. They're calling it a video light. But either way, I have been able to produce a very similar, and in many situations, the exact same result that I get with my more expensive video light or pocket light with this $19 option. And I think if we want to think about these two video lights, we can kind of think about cars. Not everyone can afford a Ferrari, but everyone needs the benefit or many people need the benefit of being able to move in their own personal transportation from point A to point B. Now, just because you can't uh, afford a Ferrari doesn't mean that you can't afford a Hyundai. And once you get to the location and the Ferrari is parked and you are parked in your Hyundai and you go into the restaurant or you go into the gym or you go into the shops, nobody knows whether you got there in a Ferrari or a Hyundai. So they both actually serve the same purpose. And with these two video lights, I'm kind of thinking of it on sort of that same level. The whole point is the results we're trying to achieve, not so much how fancy either of them looks when we've got them and we're sort of looking at them. Because when you are producing video, video or photo with it. No one actually sees the light. They only see the results of the light. Now, obviously, there is going to be some differences between a $60 light and a $20 light, but those are all sort of sacrifices I think we can live with when we are sort of trying to work on a tight budget and produce the best po possible results. The things that you're really going to notice between these two as far as when you're looking at them is one is made of metal and one is all plastic. One is a more sort of slimline, sleek design and kind of I don't know, feels kind of space age, and the other is a little bit more square, a little bit more, I don't know, sort of clunky. Now, in the brightness of the two, I would say that the $20 light is probably only... I don't know, 50% as bright as the more expensive light. And both of them are run by rechargeable batteries that are built into the units. They both recharge via USB-C port. The more expensive light has a 3,000 milliamp hour battery, and the less expensive $20 light has a 2,000 milliamp hour battery. Because the smaller light actually is less bright, you do actually get a longer run time on the smaller light. So there is that little trade-off there, and the 2,000 milliamp hour battery is plenty big enough for this small light. And both of the lights have magnets, so you can stick them to metal things. The ones on the more expensive light or the more expensive pocket light are a little bit stronger. The ones on the $19 light aren't quite as strong, but that is also a little bit lighter light, so they kind of function in a very similar way. Both of them have quarter inch threads to sort of mount on sort of whatever you want to mount them on. The actual cheaper light has the benefit of having some cold shoes. You can actually add additional attachments through the cold shoe, so that's actually an advantage of the cheaper light in that section. I should also mention the cheaper light isn't as color accurate as the more expensive light, meaning that colors and skin tones in your shots might not be perfectly accurate. Also, the less expensive light does not have a app control. It is not controllable by an app in your phone. Now, these are two things that I don't think are super important to someone that is looking at a cheaper light like this, but I thought it was just important that I mention it. And even though the less expensive $20 light isn't quite as bright as the more expensive light, I must admit in a lot of situations, I do not use the small pocket light at full brightness anyways. It is 
not uncommon for me to be using this at anywhere between 10 and 50% brightness. So in those situations, I'm actually going to really notice no difference between the two lights and the way they work. And in the video you're watching now, I'm using a pocket light, which is just a hair light. It's just up here. And you can see sort of the glow on my hair. That's a pocket light. And behind me, you can see the outline on the wall that is a bit brighter than the rest of the area back there. That is also a pocket light. And either of these functions can be served by either of these pocket lights. They're both great for sort of product photography as well, sort of when you just want to get that sort of little pop or add an accent light to a specific location. I also use them in sort of uh, photos of people, particularly if you're in a dark environment that has like a harsh light coming down from the top. You can actually just turn on the light and sort of just aim it up and just illuminates and it kind of just takes the shadows out. In fact, I'll just give you an example here just on my face. So if you got a situation where you've got a harsh light coming down, you can sort of bring that light in and it will just take some of the shadow off under my sort of nose and my eyes. And you can just see the difference there. Now, in this situation, I've got a pretty soft light, so it's not necessary to, to have a light like this. But if you're in a sort of lighting environment where you've just got those harsh overhead lights or a street light or something like this, you pull this out of your pocket and that is just going to sort of fill in those shadows and just create a bit more of a flattering light on anyone's face. And so if you want to have the benefits of a pocket light, but you're not willing to spend 60 or or $100 on a pocket light, I can highly recommend this light. And I will put links in the description down below to both of these lights. And if you're interested in getting the best in photo and video with the gear that you can afford or the gear that you already have, that's what I do on this channel. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification.